everybody welcome back to my channel i am planning today in my classic size happy planner and i am doing it for the week of october 5th through the 11th and i made a decision <laughs> that i was going to decorate the entire month of october in harry potter so this is a little post-it that i can get rid of now because it was my reminder and so what i'm going to do is every month or i'm sorry every week this month i'm going to decorate it in a different um harry potter house i yeah i'm excited so i started with hufflepuff because every time i take one of those little quizzes I end up being sorted into Hufflepuff, so I thought I'd go there. These are just some stickers I made with some like clip arts that I found online and stuff. It's probably copyrighted, so you know, never can sell it, but I'm just playing with it, so probably okay. May not use all of it. And also, well, I'll, yeah, I made these kind of um, icons, but then as I was kind of thinking through, I was like, I can't fit all this on here, so I just um, decided to shrink up those same icons and make them a little bit smaller and this is probably what I'll end up doing instead of these big ones and I just do that with it's, it's just, I mean I do it with my silhouette software you could do it with Cricut software you can do it with word processing and then just cut it out by hand and glue it on with a glue stick so there are lots of ways to do that I am going to start I haven't done this in a very long time with some washi just along the bottom I have this kind of gold stripey washi um, I used to do this all the time this was kind of my standard um, I decided to try something new and you know then sometimes you just want to come back home so that's what I'm doing today I'm coming back home putting a splash of color at the bottom of my page with some plain old washi and I have I'm sorry I have no idea where I got this washi drum probably in one of those rolls that had a whole bunch of different blacks in it or something like that but i don't know and i think i cut that too short to be able to get a hold of it and pull it so i'm just going to cut that and there we go it's just a quick quick easy way to add some color to your page and the space is there so why not use it um, I do think I want to start with something up here that screams Harry Potter and screams Hufflepuff. So I'm going to decide if I want, it'll be one of these two. And I might decide later which one based on which color needs to be pulled in more. I have a feeling it'll be this one. Um, I also printed out the quotes that are like, describe each house. And so I'm hoping to use this as well. In fact, maybe I'll just go ahead and smack that down while I'm thinking about it. Hufflepuff. You might belong in Hufflepuff, where they are ju just and loyal. Those patient Hufflepuffs are true and afraid, unafraid of toil. That was a horrible reading. <laughs> I think I'm going to squeeze that. I think I'm going to make that washi go up a little bit higher for that. Yeah, I'm going to try to make that washi extend up higher. positive I love that but I think it'll work just to get that quote on there um, I am going to start this week by just putting down my boxes for my activities and then I'll go back and Harry Potterize it after that so I need to get some boxes all right so I'm going to colorful boxes and I'm going to use I can use black or gold um, Hufflepuff's color is really yellow but you know gold works I'm going to use some gold for the things that are kind of like not in our normal lexicon of things to do. For instance, my daughter is going to have a um, eye appointment on Monday where actually she's going to miss a little bit of school to do that. So I'm going to make that gold, not because it's special, but just because, like I said, it's out of the ordinary. We don't always have an eye appointment. Um, and then I actually have just a checkup as well. Monday afternoon, so I'm gonna put that there too. I'm gonna to put them right together, even though chronologically they're not together, but because they are both you know, appointments, 
I'm gonna keep them together. That just makes sense in my mind for organizing. All right, and then my husband and I have been having a blast. I know, we're losers, but whatever. We've been having a blast doing a um, an online science and cooking class. Um, it's, it's through Harvard, but you know, it's, it's free online. Anybody can take it. Just look it up, science and cooking, Harvard, and anybody can take it. And, and by take it, I mean, you know, it's just a thing you watch on Zoom. Um, but it's been really fun. Um, I don't know, I guess we're dorks that way. But it makes us happy, so, um, you know, that's all that matters, right? So those are our out of the ordinary for Monday. I'm gonna look to see what else I have out of the ordinary this coming week. Normal stuff, normal stuff. I do have a vet appointment on Thursday or Friday, Friday. That's out of the ordinary. We don't go to the vet every week, right? So I'm trying to find a box that's large enough that I can write the details in. So that's what I'm working on here. And that's after school. So I'm gonna put that down here. And it's just his checkup. There's nothing wrong with him. Oh, I was wrong. It is on Thursday. See, what I'm looking at, oh, that folded. I wonder if that's still gonna look good. I think it'll be okay. What I'm looking at is my um, Google Calendar. I don't like that. I don't know if you can see that, but when I pulled that up, it like left a weird fold in it. So I'm gonna call that sticker dead. So I do keep my calendar on a Google Calendar. And it's just, um, where do I wanna put this? Something just happened with my phone. It seems to be struggling. So I'm trying to decide where I wanna put it because I don't like all my to-do lists to line up. So I'm probably gonna have a to-do list around here on Friday. So, put my to-do list here on Thursday, so let's put these here. It's just kind of how I like to see it. Some weeks I do want them all to line up, most weeks I do not. Saturday is a big one. We don't actually get to physically do anything, but I want to be sure to remember to call because it's my parents' 50th anniversary, so... Can't do anything, you know, COVID, but I can call them. So, and I will be doing that. Cause that's a very, very, you know, 50, 50, what the heck? Um, yeah, pretty excited for them and pretty proud of them. If that makes sense. I don't want that to sound demeaning. This is my favorite, favorite size sticker and I'm out. I have three books combined in here and I'm out. So I had to make my own stickers of this size. So now I'm gonna to go to kind of more, our more typical things that we have to do. Um, I'm glancing at my Google Calendar again. I don't know if my daughter will have cross country, so I'm not gonna put that in yet. I will wait. My husband will still have a planning meeting, so I'm gonna put that. There's a dog hair in the way. I'm gonna put his planning meeting here. Um, I cannot get these stickers on straight today. <laughs> Very funny. I say today. I can never get stickers on straight. And then we'll still have trash night and shot night down here. Um, okay, so I need to put a faculty meeting here. Shot night, by the way, we have a family member who has to take maintenance medication um, once a week. And so we, um, we just do it on the same night as trash tonight it just it's an easy way to remember it I was trying to decide where to put this because again I'm trying to get my to-do list not to all line up maybe I should just start with to-do list maybe that would make life easier that is crooked again I'm going with it <laughs> I'm kind of a mess today so she will still have dance practice that has not ended cross country might be ending just because it's um they're having their like the season's ending that's all just the season is coming to an end. I'm gonna put this here for no other reason. By the way, I'm gonna take these post-its. These are the things that are reoccurring events. I'm keeping cross country as a post-it until I find out when it truly ends for her. And so reoccurring events, I just use a post-it and scooch it over. And again, I don't know about cross country, so I'm gonna, I can always put that in later for the week. 
Um, but I do know on Wednesday she will still have calc night, so I will go ahead and put that. I'm gonna put that down here at the bottom this time and move this to next Wednesday. Um, so yeah, cross country is coming to an end for the season. And so I guess, and she's a manager. She doesn't actually run it in it. And so I just don't know how long they're going to need her, you know, when they only have a few kids left running because it's, you know, they're at the state level or the regional level or whatever, they may not need a full out manager. So I just don't know how much longer she'll be doing it. She will have dance again on Thursday. So I'm gonna put that in here. So seriously, all I'm trying to do is kind of keep events in sort of one area so that I can put to-do lists in another area and then pure deco in another area. Move this post-it over to next week. Friday, just for fun, they are having the food truck come to school, like a, you know, a food truck. And so our principal, one of our principals organized that. And so I'm going to mark it so that I remember to bring some money to school on Friday. Um, is it that big a deal? No, but, you know, it's different and different is fun. So that does not get moved to next week because that's just that one day. Um, we are going to have game night that night. And my game night stickers, I'm reaching off to the side here. I just made these a little bit different and going ahead and put the icon in the box for these. So that's, uh, I could have easily done these the same way I did everything else, but who knows why I did it this way. Um, my husband will have a game night on Saturday night with his high school friends from back in the day. And then they also do a game night on Sunday night, my husband leads that one, and it's just the cousins because none of our none of our kids live near each other. Um, put that way down here. They don't live near each other. You know, we live in one state. Another cousin lives across the country in another. You know, it's you know we're spread out, so they do these online game nights to to stay close, and keep keep knowing each other, and I think it's wonderful. Um. Sunday, my daughter will still have violin, and I don't know if she'll have dance that night because it's the last, it's Sunday night before fall break, so I'm gonna leave it off for now and go ahead and move the post-it. I can always add it in later, but she will have violin because that's not, no, she won't. Violin should be here now. We changed. Hoo-hoo. So violin now goes on Mondays, or Fridays, whatever this is. This is Friday. We switched, her teacher moved away. So when I move that to next week, now I'm gonna put this on the correct day. I'm gonna put it on Friday. So her teacher moved away, we had to get a new teacher, da 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 da, -da. you get the idea. I'm gonna go ahead and put a sticker down for church on Sunday, even though there's no way on earth I will forget, but might as well get it down. I'm just going to shift it down a little bit for some visual interest. And I think that is that. All right. So now I'm going to go through and I'm going to put an icon on each of these boxes so that it has a label. So this will take me just a second. I like to use icon stickers to um, clearly and quickly and cutely mark each of the kind of regular activities that we have. Um, and I'll just go in and jot down the times that those take place and, and it's pretty simple because these are things we do every week. I'm going to pause from my regular icons here and put in a few more labels of things that I want to mark. Wednesdays are Red for Ed days. And so we wear red to support public education and it happens, our principals are letting us use it as a jeans day as well. So I think they feel sorry for us and how hard the school year is this year with COVID. And so they're giving us an extra jeans day a week. So we get one on Friday just because it's Friday. And then we get one on red for ed day as well. So those are not exactly icons. They're just kind of more labels. I did want to add those in. 
Now I need to add some Zoom stickers to these, to the things that are Zoomed, and uh, then I'll be ready to move on. Every week when I put these Zoom and Google Meet stickers on, I wonder how long we're going to have to keep doing this for. I really hope this pandemic ends soon. So most of these icon stickers are ones that I made, but a few of them are ones I purchased. I purchased these from Lil Annabelle's Plans. They're little, <laughs> they're, they're just generic, you know, dog things, but this one is perfect for a vet because it's a little stethoscope with a paw inside it. Lil Annabelle's Plans is not a shop anymore, but I wanted to give her the credit due anyway. This was a purchase sticker too, I believe. That was also An Lil Annabelle's Plans. Um, so I just wanted to give that, give credit where credit is due. You know, when people make their own stickers, I, I want to make sure to, uh, yeah, give them their credit. I didn't put an appointment sticker down yet. I do have my own, but I'm going to go ahead and use the Pappy Planner ones. Um, these are from the productivity book. And like I said, we have two appointments on Monday. So I'll shove these in there as well. Might offset it a little. There we go. All right, that I believe is plan plans. So now I can do some checklists because checklists or to-do lists are a huge part of planner life to me. So this is the rainbow book and it had yellow, which is perfect for Hufflepuff. So I'm gonna pull out some of these to-do stickers. They're little flags and they match that sticker that I said I'm probably going to end up using for my theme sticker. So I'm going to put these and some bullet points down on many of the days just to give myself some to-do lists. As I'm doing this, you might wonder why I don't put a to-do list on every day. Um, I'm just, I, I want to force myself to be realistic and um, give myself some downtime. I purposefully don't put it on Sunday and I usually leave another day of the week off as well just to guarantee that I, I slow down sometimes. All right, I'm also gonna grab this I Love Weekend sticker and just stick this up here because it's gold and it works and I think it fits, right? Yep. So I'm just gonna put that up there. I'm not butting it right up against the top line. I don't know why, I just feel like it needs a little bit of breathing space. Uh, is there anything in here that I want? I don't think so, because I think I want to use most of my decor with the um, Harry Potter stuff. All right, so activities, appointments, check. To-do list, check. Icons, check. Washi, mostly check. Um, I say mostly because I could add it in later too if I want. So now, just for fun, this is the fun stuff. So now I'm just going to kind of add in... Yeah, it's just for fun. So I think I am gonna go with this yellow one like I thought I would and put that up here as a theme sticker of sorts. And again, making these stickers is so, so easy. I sometimes think about opening like a sticker shop and then I'm like, that's just, I just can't. It's, it's I'm, I feel like I'm cheating people. It's so easy to make the stickers, you know? Um, let's see. So how do I want to decorate? What do I want to do? I have so many options. Um, I do have a Dobby here if I want a Dobby. I have all these little icons. I have all these bigger icons. Um, I think I can put something fun on Wednesday. So do I want to put the badger or the circle? I think I'm gonna put this little circle. I made this thinking it'd be like a weekend banner, but I don't really need that. So I probably won't end up using that little banner fluggy thingy bobby um yeah so i'm gonna use this and i'm gonna cut it across here no i'm not i'm gonna leave it a circle i'm just gonna go with it i was gonna try to line it up with that line and cut it off but i'm just doing it um all right so i don't need that what's coming will come and we'll meet when it does that's okay, but it doesn't speak to me. And the badger, I think I wanna use the badger. 
do want to use the badger. I'm going to trim the badger a little bit when it was, when I, you know, got it off of a clip art online. It was sort of like a file folder, and so it had a little tab sticking out. And so I'm cutting that off so it's just, I didn't cut it all the way, but so it's just a rectangle now. Can't get that little sliver, though. And badger, badger, where should I put the badger? I'll put him down here because he's cute. All right. Oh, I like that. I'm happy with that. I think I'm going to take a Harry Potter sticker and come down here. Went off the edge ever so slightly there. Cut that off just so there's nothing sticky sticking out. Um, and I love Hagrid. He's not really in Hufflepuff, but his clothes match Hufflepuff, so I'm putting him there. That's my only reason. Um, I could kind of combine him with that circle. I think I'm going to. Kind of like he's, I don't like sticking people, you know, like they're flying through the air, but he's kind of sitting on that line. Oh, he's cute. I know he's not in Hufflepuff, but I don't care. He's adorable. That makes my heart happy. All right, I'm gonna use some of these smaller things now because the only thing left that's Hufflepuff really is this tie and I don't, it didn't print out that clearly number one and I don't think I love it number two. I mean, I could stick it somewhere. I just don't want to, so I'm not going to I'm put it off the side. I'm gonna use some of these smaller guys and just kind of scatter them throughout the page. So nothing, no rhyme or reason here, just playing around, just playing around. And this is 100% just the fun part. And this is what makes Happy Planner fun when you just get to play around and decorate and, and it makes you want to look at your planner. It makes you want to use it. And uh, it's, it's why I do what I do. And while most of this is just for fun decoration, I do think always is very good for my parents' 25th anniversary. If there's anywhere to put always, it's, you know, it's there, right? So that's a good one there. I, I want to put these lightning strikes, but I don't really have a plan for them. I mean, I guess I could put them up scattered with the, use some big ones and some small ones and kind of scatter them up there. When I made these stickers, I didn't really have a plan. I was just kind of, you know, just kind of having fun. What might I use was kind of what I was thinking of. So since I've got three sizes, this could kind of work. I don't like it when it looks all perfect up there, you know, a perfect little something or another between every day, but and these different sizes can be kind of fun and maybe make it look a little more random. Maybe. I might end up taking them off. I might hate them, but for now, for now I like them. Just playing around. And this, I don't know, like, if everything's going to end up looking the same when I do four weeks of this, or if they're gonna each each week will end up looking different. I know next week will look slightly different because it'll be fall break, so I won't have nearly as many to doy kind of things to put in. To doy. <laughs> to doy. That makes sense, right? No, I should go this way. I was gonna flip it, but it didn't look right. All right, I don't know, that might look a little messy. Yeah, I hate that. Those are coming off. I hate them. Okay, <laughs> I just decided I hate them. Um, I do wanna use, I did pull out the fall sticker book and there's a fall break sticker and it is almost the perfect shade of yellow. So I do wanna stick that in down here on Friday because it's the last you know, school day before fall break starts. So I do wanna stick that in. And I put a sticky or a little tag here thinking I wanted to use something. Oh, I was thinking about using these, but I got those, so I'm good. Do I want to stick a Dobby in just because Dobby's adorable? 
Dobby is Dobby and everybody loves Dobby. I made four Dobbies, one for each month. I don't know if you could tell, but Dobby's my fave. Oh no, I ripped his, his, what do you call it? His foot off, I was gonna say his shoe. His foot off. Okay, I don't have a Dobby for every month. <laughs> I'm gonna stick him down here. Harry Potter. You can just hear Dobby's voice saying it. All right, um, I'm gonna get rid of those lightning strikes. But I think, 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 I'm done. I don't have Harry Potter there. Harry Potter on Tuesday, on Wednesday. I don't have anything Harry Potter on Thursday. I have a Harry Potter Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I need a Harry Potter thing on Thursday. Because I want to have one on each day. So I'm just going to stick a little nine and three quarters right there. All right. Now I'm going to get rid of the lightning strikes. And I think I'm going to call this done. So thank you for watching. I hope you... Um, enjoyed it please like please subscribe please share all that good stuff and have a great week and stay safe and stay healthy and happy planning thanks a bunch bye bye just for full disclosure um i did change a few things i changed i got rid of the lightning bolts moved the uh, snitch up there moved tuesday around because i remembered i have another thing i needed to put on tuesday so i just moved the owl over there and i took jeans day off here because this is going to mark that it's jeans week all week because they're being nice to us because we made it if we make it through this week we'll have made it nine weeks and only had two days where we had to uh you know go online because of covid so they're rewarding us <laughs> so all right just full disclosure thanks again Bye bye <laughs>